we are going to try and look at a new way, uh, maybe easier way to build this NASCAR track. And first let's remember what circle rules we need to make, we need to utilize. Um, we got to make this straightaway coming into this curve tangent. Um, it's got to be smooth. And then coming out of the curve, that's got to be tangent. You know, into the curve, tangent, out of the curve, tangent. Okay? That, that's the way it's, it's got to be a smooth thing. Uh, so things we got to remember about tangents. One, tangents are perpendicular to a radius. Well, also a diameter. So, we got to be able to create this perpendicular aspect right at a circle perpendicular to a radius. Um, might look like that, more look like that, because we're going to have, you know, curve having two ends to it. Uh, we got to draw, the, we got to both radii in there because we need to be able to measure this angle right here. And the other one we're going to use is that tangents from the same external point are congruent. You might remember that looking like from this. If the satellite's at B, what's the farthest it can talk to at A and at C? Those places are tangent. Um, this kind of aspect. A to P and A to Q, if they're the same distance and they're both perpendicular to a radius, then they are tangent. So we're going to kind of use that idea to create um, where our curve should go and how and where the center of our curve is. We're actually not going to create the circle first. We're going to create the lines first. So let's create a couple of lines up here. And I'm going to make them dash for a. So we're going to make a curve up here. All right. So we know it's got to, you know, kind of go from here somewhere and curve and get over to here. And it's got to be tangent at this point and tangent at this point. Well, again, that circle rule said if I can make the distance a to p and a to q the same and make them on a perpendicular. And put them, uh, make them, make them perpendicular to a radius. Then they're going to find the center of the curve. So my thing is to make a distance from A to here the same as a distance from A to here. We'll do that with a circle. And I'll make the circle kind of variable. I want to make it dotted. Um, I want to make it be able to change it. All right. So there's our circle. And so there's D, so now i got to find this point over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Boom. So that is where my curve's going to start, and that point D is where my curve's going to end. So now i got to make the perpendiculars there. All right, so we use that perpendicular tool. We make it there, and make it perpendicular at D. Boom. Where they cross... Where those perpendicular cross, amazingly enough, is the center of the circle. As in, look, where the perpendiculars cross, it is the center of the circle. So, we well, got to find the center there. And boom, there's the center. And now let's make our arc. Actually, make an arc. Um, we want a solid arc, though. We're going to make it uh, blue. So, it goes from F. Oh, I don't know which way things go. Uh, wrong way. That's okay. I can undo that. We're going to have centered at F and go from D over to E. There's our arc. So there's our curve. This point is tangent. This line is tangent at point E, and this line is tangent at point D. So this dashed line right here from E to B is actually going to be one of our straightaways. Um... Okay, let's make let's show you that. Let's show you the straightaway thing. So we're going from E to B. Yeah, hang on a second. I want to make that not blue. That's right, but I want to make it blue. All right, boom. So that can hide stuff, so you don't have to see them all. So there's what we got. We got a straightaway. We coming into a curve. Coming out of a curve, going over here. All right, I got time. I can make. Uh, we can do this one more time. Um, we'll make the curve down here. 
Now I do the same kind of thing. I've got a straight. I've got you know a line here. We're gonna make that, and I gotta put this line over here. Let me bring back that line. Don't really need it. But let's just do it on do the temporaries. You should have some temporary lines, and they should be light. All right. Um, so again, we want to make a curve here again. If I do one circle right around B, any size, I'm going to use a circle, again, circle with center three point. Um, I can make it any size and change it later on. That's what's going to be nice. Again, I don't want it that color. That color and dashed. And then i got to find where that circle's crossing over here. So that's going to make... Uh, what B G and B H the same distance. Now, if I make them perpendicular to something, what they're perpendicular to is going to be a radius or a diameter. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe not. Missed. All right, there we go. So I've got this line here. B, G is the same distance as B, H, and then I've got them perpendicular to something, which happens to be a radius. And because it's perpendicular to a radius, it is tangent to a circle. If you don't believe me? I'll draw a circle. Oh, i got to find the center there. See? There we go. Tangent to a circle. Now we don't really want a circle. We want an arc because we're drawing a curve. And I want a blue one. And I want it solid. There's my center. I always forget which way to go on these. Oh, right, there we go. Boom. There's that. And then there's our straightaway. Connecting there to there. So let's hide all those temporaries, which you're going to want to do eventually. We can kind of the circles you want. To. No, I don't want to have the circles yet because here's what here's the magic that can happen. I can change everything, and it still stays tangent. I can make this curve get bigger, get smaller, so I could have have some flexibility to play with. You know how I want to do this. You know, hey, the final thing. So then you got to you know make a third one, obviously too. Uh, again, the other thing you want to do is you're going to want to measure these angles. Get the measurement on there because you're going to need that to calculate the arc length. So, there you go. Another way to make NASCAR tracks. This way things all stay together and I don't have and things all line up using a couple of tangent rules.